Are you struggling to unit test the should component update method in your React component? You're not alone. This is a common challenge for many developers, and today we're gonna break it down together. I totally get it. It can be really frustrating when you want to ensure your component behaves correctly, but testing it feels like a puzzle with missing pieces. You're in the right place to solve this. Here's the specific question we're addressing. One user asked, how can I unit test the should component update method in my React component? They want to change some props or state and verify if the component re-renders or not. Sound familiar? Let's dive into it. So what exactly is the should component update method? It's a lifecycle method that allows you to control whether a component should re-render based on changes in props or state. Understanding this is key to effective testing. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will make your testing process even smoother. To begin unit testing the should component update method, the user should first set up their testing environment. This involves ensuring that Jest and Enzyme are installed in their project. Next, the user needs to configure Enzyme to work with React. This is done by creating a setup file where they can configure the Enzyme adapter. Now, the user can write a test for the should component update method. They should create a test file for their component and import the necessary libraries. In the test, the user should create an instance of the component and change its props or state. They can then assert whether the component re-renders or not based on the should component update logic. Finally, the user can run their tests to verify that the should component update method behaves as expected. They can do this by running the jest command in the terminal. Fun fact, did you know that React was developed by Facebook and is used by millions of developers worldwide? You're part of a huge community. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests that instead of testing the should component update method in isolation, it's better to test the component's behavior when props or state change. They recommend using Enzyme's set props or set state methods to verify if the component updates correctly. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always write tests for your lifecycle methods. It saves you time and headaches in the long run, ensuring your components behave as expected. And there you have it. You now know how to unit test the should component update method in your React component. Remember, testing is crucial for maintaining quality in your applications. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and tricks.